Do you understand how big of a week this is in the group of five? Do you, do you understand? Tulane has cracked the top 25, not in the AP's eyes, in the college football playoff committee's eyes. Army is still unbeaten out there. Army's just armying. That's what they're doing. They're just battling along, and they keep on winning football games. But Boise State has got San Jose State this week. I don't have a huge upset alert meter. My uh, spidey senses are not erupting in that sense. But San Jose State is a better team than I thought they would be. I, I didn't have them pegged as being over 500 right now. They're at home. Boise State's about a two-touchdown favorite. I think the Broncos will be okay. I I think the Broncos will, will be okay because, well, I haven't seen huge major cracks just yet. But Army's, uh, Army's off this week. But Boise State, they're the group of five favorite, right? They should be. They should, they're the highest ranked. They're number 13 in the playoff rankings. Ashton Genty's great. They keep winning football games. They don't have to play great to win football games. But it's not the only group of five game that you should be paying attention to this week because there are a lot of other ones that are going to impact this race. Because if Boise State loses just one little old football game anywhere, their status as a lock into the playoff if they win the Mountain West, yeah, that goes, that goes out the window. It's not that they couldn't still get in. It's that they wouldn't be a lock. So every single week, high level of urgency for uh, Boise State. But do you realize that Tulane goes to Navy this week? John Sumrall has taken over for Willie Fritz. He goes from Troy to Tulane. Fritz goes from Tulane to Houston, where he's winning more than people thought they would. And uh, myself included, at least right away. I thought Willie Fritz would always be okay. I didn't think it would happen this th this quickly. They could make a bowl game this year. Crazy. They're at Arizona this week on, uh, on, on Friday night. But Tulane goes to Navy. Now, Navy was once upon a time in the same category as Army, where it's, hey, they're an unbeaten service academy. How long can they keep this going? And I figured the service academies wouldn't be able to maintain their unbeaten streaks. I mean, Army has continued. Our Army and Navy will will indeed play later this year, as they always do in America's game. But uh, Army has to go to Notre Dame next week. Mmm, 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 mmm. That's unbeaten army against probably a one-loss uh, Notre Dame team. But uh, I'm fascinated by this Tulane and, and Navy game. Darian Mensa has been playing really good football this year. Had a couple of big turnovers against Kansas State, one in particular late in that game, or else Tulane would perhaps be ranked one spot behind Boise State. They could be ranked ahead of Boise State if they'd been able to win that football game. But he's got 16 touchdowns, four interceptions this year. He's already over 2,000 yards passing, having a really, really nice year. And uh, Tulane's yet to lose a game in the American Conference. Navy has lost just the one. And so Tulane goes on the road to Annapolis. They're favored by a touchdown. I don't think they're covering that spread, but I think they're winning. Navy, at home, last time I liked Navy to cover but not when the game was against Notre Dame and they got housed. If Tulane wins this football game, watch them go up in the rankings. Watch them go up. I'm I'm just saying. I'm not I'm not saying I, I think they should just because they go on the road and beat Navy, but Navy's a solid team. Notre Dame got some credit for beating them, and I think they should have because Navy's a pretty good is a pretty good football team. So uh Tulane on the road. This is an early morning game, 12 o'clock Eastern, ESPN two. Give me Tulane to win 28-24 at Navy and uh, the Green Wave playing for their playoff hopes, which are very much alive. But there are still other games in the group of five ranks that yeah, you just need to keep your eye on. You know who's ranked inside the top 20 right now? Washington State. Yeah, that's right. Washington State goes to New Mexico this week, 45-20. I think the Cougars roll off a bye that was more well-timed for their Pac-12 brother in Oregon State than it was for the Cougs. Uh, reports have swirled around about John Mateer getting $1 million offers in the NIL department or more. I hope that distraction doesn't leak into the season. I hope John Mateer sticks it out in Pullman because going into next season, if Washington State ends this year 11-1, and narrowly misses the playoff, they can go into next year as a preseason top 25 team, and they can absolutely be a playoff contender from the start rather than what they have become in the last several weeks which is a bona fide playoff contender and getting that level of respect in the college football playoff ranking. So uh, keep your eye on Washington State there. But here's another one. Here's another one. And this ties into Boise State very heavily. Do you know who the other unbeaten in the Mountain West is off the top of your head? Would it surprise you to hear that it's Colorado State? Yeah, it's Colorado State. 
They're hosting Wyoming this week. Wyoming isn't very good. Give me the Rams 34 to 20. They win that football game. But the other team that Boise State could match up with in the Mountain West Championship game who would potentially knock them off and knock them out of the 12-team college football playoff and open the door for an Army or a Tulane or, dare I say, a uh, Louisiana and such out of uh, the Sun Belt. Louisiana this week, by the way, they, um, they've got South Alabama. South Alabama, pretty good team. Pretty good team over there in the Sun Belt, capable of knocking them off, but Louisiana 5-0. Just, just just keep an eye. Just keep an eye on uh, on the Raging Cajuns, okay? That's all, I wa- that's all I want you to do is just be aware that they're playing football and they can sneak into uh, that college football playoff discussion there. But if you're Boise State, and Boise State fans, comment down below. You have three options here. You cannot say I'm not answering the question. So I, I want some answers from you guys. Who would you most want to play in the Mountain West Championship game? Do you want a rematch with UNLV? They play San Diego State this week. I've got the Rebels winning 38-20. Do you want to play UNLV again after you already beat them at their place earlier this season? Do you want to play Colorado State, who hasn't seen Boise State, but Boise State hasn't seen Colorado State yet either? And last year, the Rams got a, a pretty wild, crazy victory against the Broncos. Do you want that revenge? Or option three, do you not care? Are you in the sort of mindset in which you say, okay, doesn't matter who we play doesn't matter. We're going to be able to show up and beat anybody in the Mountain West. The Broncos are a big favorite to win the Mountain West. And if they do, they'll be in the playoff. And and Tulane, it doesn't matter what they do. I don't even think it matters what Army does. And does that suck for Army? Yeah, at some level it does. They could be an unbeaten and get left out of the playoff. Or this 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 is a wild, crazy scenario. I'm just saying it's not entirely impossible here. What if the group of five gets two teams in the college football playoff? Spencer, that's insane. Well, here are the things that would probably have to happen. Colorado lose at some point and not make the Big 12 championship game. And then BYU lose the Big 12 championship game to whoever they play. Might I remind you that the uh, current rankings for the college football playoff uh, with regards to Big 12 teams, they've got Kansas State at 16 and Army sitting there at 24. Now, Army doesn't have a loss yet this year. They also don't have a super high quality win. Who is it they play again next week? Oh, that's right. Notre Dame. Notre Dame. It's not impossible is all I'm saying. Is it likely? No, absolutely not. It's very unlikely because while Army would pick up a win against Notre Dame if they were to go unbeaten and win the American Conference this year, and they would probably beat a team like Tulane or Memphis or someone in the American Conference Championship game, the Big 12 winner in this hypothetical would also pick up a win against BYU and would leap up in the rankings. But if after this week, if Colorado loses, which is entirely possible, I don't think it's going to happen, but hey, like we always say, crazier things have happened in college football. If Colorado loses and an Army next week beats Notre Dame, could Army vault up and that zero in the loss column be given the legis- legitimacy that they are seeking right now? They've already got some of it ranked 24th, but if they go beat Notre Dame, I tell you what, they could jump ahead to the Big 12 champion. But uh, that would certainly, I think, be a bigger threat for Boise State than the Big 12 champ. I don't suspect the committee wants to put in two group of five uh, conference champions. But with the way the language is written, yes, it is technically possible. So uh, keep your eye on those games, won't you? I hope you will. And I hope you enjoy the weekend. Appreciate everyone listening. I will see you next time. Until then, hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.